out of y'all. You don't see much of this ugly puss anymore. I'm sort of um, getting there, you know, and uh, other things to do like mowing the grass, painting the ceiling, all those things. It's a um, story of life, isn't it? Starry, starry night. Paint your palette blue and green. Look out on the summer's day with eyes that know the darkness in my soul. Shadows on the hill. Sketch the trees and daffodils. Sketch the breeze and winter chills and colors on the snowy lemon land. Now I understand what you tried to say to me. How you suffered for your sanity. How you tried to set them free. They would not listen. They did not know how. Perhaps they'll listen now. We're having a few problems here, like everywhere else in the world, I suppose. It's um, this virus thing. I don't know, it's um, sort of, what do you say? It gives, um, well, one, one thing I can, I can go on is that I saw a comment on the web that said there's not a politician in the world that's lost a day's pay or an hour's sleep over this. Well, I'm pretty sure it's the pay bit. It's pretty factual. <clears throat> and they take the opportunity to change laws and to alter things while everybody else is uh, locked in their house or put their mask on and go shopping and line up to get what's left on the shelf. Like the Queensland Premier, it's, I uh, can't think of a name, it's um, something like Palaznikzak or something, Premier Palaznikzak. I think just brought in a law that says that radio announcers, or anybody on the radio or anybody writing a newspaper, a journalist of any description, can't criticise or make any mention of any politician that li looks likely to face any charges or any inquiry into what they've been up to. We all know what they've been up to. But to make a law that says you're liable to six months jail if you mention it, it sort of makes you think a little, doesn't it? Starry night, flaming flowers that brightly gleam, swirling clouds and violet haze, reflecting Vincent's eyes of China blue. There's one fella on the web that really, I find, he should have been a comedian. That's Freeman. Howdy, Paul. Christ, I get a laugh out of some of his stuff. He's, he's a larrikin, all right. And I can't do uh, a video without mentioning Jeffrey Bennett, can I? I mean, uh, Jeffrey, uh, he's a gentleman. There's no two ways about that. And um, while we're on the subject of talking about people, I'll lean over the top for a sec, just up here. And... We have some CDs. And of course, I'm not a great fan of Bob Dylan, but um, I've got one here. And it's uh, Political World. I think that's my favourite Bob Dylan song. Love it. And of course, we've got to thank um, 
Tony Floyd Kenner, a personality on his own. Hey Tony. And uh, I've ordered a couple of CDs off Tony and uh, I had to smile to myself. Sorry Tony, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I sent what I thought. He, he said on the on the, the site there that um, whatever the CD, whatever you feel it's worth. And I, I sent him some money. And he sent me a message back and said, Jesus, mate, you sent me too much. And I thought, man, I don't often hear that. Eh? Sent me too much. So he sent me a, a, a couple of extra CDs for it. And I, I appreciate it now, mate. I mean, we've got outside, there's one. And we've got um, Rihanna on this one. It's good. Footsteps of the Alien. Wheels of the World. I mean, um, you know, it's, um, it's nice. It's not often you'd, uh, you get something like that happen. Anyway, I'm not going to talk forever. We're up to 6 minutes 28, 29, 30, so on. It's, it's getting away on us. And um, uh, what else can I say? Except um, all the best to all of you. And I don't know whether you keep that mask on or off. That's entirely up to yourself. It's got nothing to do with me at all. And um, knowing my luck, eh? But um, anyway, there you go. I'll finish up. Arrivederci, Roma. Thank you to everybody and all be safe.